I discovered an email in my inbox the other day from someone calling himself Broccoli Soup, requesting that I draw their pet Dove, who they've accurately named Dragon, with an exterior that matches his fiery personality. I thought this was a sensible request, seeing as I am drawing with waffles. I'm known the internet over for my accurate depiction of legendary, large, serpent-like creatures. So, here you go, Dragon. This one's for you. <laughs> if sarcasm's lost on you, or if you're new to the channel, I don't draw dragons, I never have. So I thought this would be a very fun challenge, seeing as the first time I read this email, I was like, okay. And then I thought about it for a few minutes and I was like, okay. So here we go. We're going to be turning little dove named dragon into a full fledged dragon. So the first thing I'm doing here is I've duplicated the body a couple times, moving it down to elongate that body. And then I'm coloring in around the edges to kind of hone that shape and change that dove body type into like closer to that dragon body type. At the beginning here, I'm working on like the basic shapes. I'm not worried too much about any detail. Now, from what I remember of dragons, I think the eyes are bigger, so I'm gonna grow that a bit. Oh, that is creepy, isn't it? <laughs> and then I want the nose to be more like a snout and a little bit less like a beak. So I'll just grow that. Um, not sure where it goes. Now, even though I want this face to look like a dragon, I don't wanna lose too much of dragon the doves you know features i don't want to stray too far from like the reference material so to see what happens about that <laughs> i honestly don't really know what i'm doing but either my success or my failure will be broadcast over the internet so all in all i think good things are happening although it looks let's try teeth okay no teeth no teeth <laughs> I'm gonna try using the smudge tool and creating horns. So I just grab and pull. Mm. <laughs> I think two of them would look better. What have I done to you, dragon? I'm gonna start coloring over some of these sections, creating some simple paintiness. Try and find the shape I'm looking for. From a lot of these references that I'm looking at dragons, it looks like the snout comes out really high on the skull. So I'm gonna have to pull that up. Maybe I just move it all up. Ooh, why am I getting platypus vibes? <laughs> it's probably the color of the beak. I think it's distracting too much. I'm probably gonna end up changing the color of that later, but for now I'm gonna leave it until I just can't stand it anymore, which we're getting close. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna come back to the face later, but I just wanna work on the foot because I think it'd be kind of cool to use those birdie feet, but like make them the shape of a dragon foot. So I'm gonna grow it. Then I'm gonna just draw over it here and kind of imagine what the bird foot would look like. Ooh. <laughs> I wanna like cover over a lot of this background. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Here we've got a leg. I'm just blocking out the shape. Not entirely sure what a dragon's leg look like, so I'm just gonna have to play with this. <laughs> okay, back leg. Uh, that looks like a frog. I'll just put one of these down there too. Gotta use what's available to me. <laughs> Do the leg on the other side. Take a look at this. <laughs> what do I want to do next? Let's just move this back. Because I feel like dragons have a longer body than this. Then I could just paint over some of these bits, make it blend in a bit better. Oh, we don't need those other legs, do we? Or feet. Now I want a tail. Probably can just go off the canvas a bit, but maybe it'll be in like a thisy shape. We're getting somewhere. It needs wings, but I kind of want to figure out the legs first. All right, this face is freaking me out. Let me <laughs> try something here. I think the weird beak nostrils messing this up. So let me give it like more dragon-like nostrils. That looks like a pig, doesn't it? I'll figure this out. <laughs> just give me a second. All right, so I've been playing around with the legs a bit more, adding some like uh, really smudgy soft liner to, to kind of figure out where the legs are inside of the big blobs. And I think I'm getting somewhere. I'm not I'm, like upset about the way the rear end looks here. I think it's time to get rid of this background. <laughs> this weird mythical creature doesn't really fit here. So I'm just gonna block out some of these colors. Just grabbing whatever colors are already in the picture. I'm not coming up with new colors and just blending them out a bit using a very soft low opacity brush. 
kind of make it look cloudy, you know? Now this side, I think I want to take this green color from the plaid blanket and add that to the picture because I really like the way that turquoise looks with the yellow. That way it looks like he's kind of sitting on a rock. Yee! <laughs> I've decided that the fleshy beak color has got to go. <laughs> I think it's too distracting. I'm just going to play around with this face shape because I think that's really important for this to look good. Figure out where it did eat her nostrils go. I'm just going to shorten this all a bit. I feel like it's still too long. Although now I'm getting wolf vibes, but <laughs> what can you do? What I need is that more reptilian facial shape. Ooh, that really helped. What did I do? I had like a little divot. <laughs> I'm gonna shorten this even more. <laughs> I'm just gonna get. By the time I'm done, he's gonna look like a bear. <laughs> How does this look? You know what? I think dragons have a longer mouth slit. Is that what you call them? I think we're making some progress. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, just contrast that with the way it looked before. <laughs> Look, I'm moving forward. <laughs> I think the color is not really doing the dragoniness any favors because it's a little fleshy and a little furry looking. Very mammal. Have to get this facial shape right, I think, to really convey that dragon idea. So we went from platypus. <laughs> well, actually, we started at the top. We went to platypus. We saw a wolf, and now I'm feeling Charizard, which is so much closer to a dragon. I mean, Charizard technically is a dragon. This gives me, like, knockoff Charizard vibes, and I cannot complain about that. But I do want to add, like, the feathers, because right now I still want to try and keep the feathers, because Dragon the Dove has feathers, and I feel like scales might be just too far of a stretch. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I think I want to make it bigger so that I can draw more of that tail. So I'm actually going to change the canvas size so that his head fits right in one of those thirds. Then all that's left for me to do with the background is like sort of fill in some of this brown. Try to elongate the canvas, basically. Like a so! As much as I want to keep as many bird elements, like the dove elements, in the picture as much as possible, I do want to add some dragon stuff so that it looks like a dragon. I think what would really help is like those front chest scales. In a lot of dragons that I've seen, I remember they have like very big exaggerated scales that go from like his chin or their chin all the way down to like their waist. So. I want to add that, and I can even add like a feathery texture if I want to keep that feather shape, but also incorporate the dragon design. I've been working on the horns, but now I really want to change this face color. It's just too fleshy. <laughs> I just, I can't. So I'm going to make it like match, look more of his arms and leg color. You know, just a little less pink. Kind of try and match the body, give him like a yellow dragon sort of look instead of a weird fleshy furry dragon. <laughs> oh, what the color balance tool can do. <laughs> Look at that. I really like the colors. All right, but I think it's time to start working on these feet. I want them to go a little more in the dragon direction, but I want to try and keep um, like the texture of a birdie foot. So I'm going to just try and change the shape of a dragon foot. But make sure I incorporate that texture. Kind of looks like shrimp. Yeah, I definitely think the toes need to be shorter. And I need to add a thumb. So I'll just try and draw that in myself. And add the texture. And actually just move it. Maybe stretch it a bit. You know, just trying to make it look like it's wrapping around that rock. I'd say this is definitely better. Yeah, I, I, I like that foot. I think it looks pretty good. So now I just need to do the same thing with this back foot. So fill in part of that empty section. <laughs> Give it the dragon shape of a foot. It's actually crazy how well that works. How similar a bird foot is to like a dragon's claw. And can't forget the texture. Bada boom. <laughs> Something's happening here that I didn't foresee. So you'll notice like those back feathers there. That's like the actual image of dragon the dove. <laughs> and here I'm like imitating that feather shape a little bit higher up. Now that I've gotten closer to this here. I can sort of like copy bits, like notice that it's like darker underneath and then paint over it with a lighter. I didn't think this would happen, but this is really, really cool. Like, I don't know how I would have known, but <laughs> so since there's part of like the photo in here, it's kind of like teaching me how to draw feathers or paint feathers, I guess. 
This is kind of cool. Like, I've got a ways to go, but I have, like, the reference built in. Very cool. You know her. Very cool. So I blocked out some wings, but I don't like them. So I'm just gonna let them sit there and like veg and I'll see what I think about them later. <laughs> um, but I wanna go back and work on the face. So I'm actually gonna take the eye color and just draw a new mouth with that like extra little lip near the eye. Cause I'm seeing that in a lot of like dinosaurs and lizards and things. <laughs> and I like that. I'll try to blend it more into the shape instead of being such a harsh line. And I think this part actually jets out a bit, so if I lighten that, it'll look more 3D. Oh, wow. A little tiny bit made a big difference. <laughs> Maybe lighten up back here. Yes, I approve. <laughs> I like that better. I'm really not too pleased with the way the horns are looking, so I feel like they're gonna need some extra tweaking, especially like where they're connecting with the skull. I don't really like the way the flaps of skin looks. What I could try is like a more rhin- no, 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 a triceratops sort of connector. <laughs> Do that to like both of them, see how I like that. Mm, I think that's too goat. And if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to go dragon. <laughs> Maybe if I add more horns? I'm not sure where they'd go. Is that weird? Maybe. Maybe here? And one in the background. Then I'd need skin connecting to that. And add the texture. All right, so that's what we've got so far. <laughs> eh, something weird about the horns. I mean, maybe I should just go feathers, like big feathers on the back of the head, like a cockatoo. <laughs> but it is a dove, so maybe that's weird. But it's also a dragon, so I don't know what I'm trying to like compensate in my head with. <laughs> So I ended up adding more horns, just little tiny ones. <laughs> I'm like trying to hide the problems with horns. I like it better, it gives me more of that like dinosaur. It doesn't look goat at all anymore. So yeah, I'll take it. Avoiding the wings for a while here. Let me just kind of build up the shape a bit more. I feel like they're too thin to like keep that body up, but I still want to keep the feathery soft look. I think it just suits the rest of the little dragon here. Look at it from like a really far distance. For most of this, I'm not talking. I'm just like, <sighs> trying to figure out what to draw or like how to make it look better. But for the most part, I'm kind of just grabbing colors and blobbing them down if you want something specific. <laughs> I'm just trying to make them look like wings and I don't have a lot of experience with wings. So yeah, I also have two other pictures of Dragon the Dove and I'm kind of trying to use those to draw the wings. I think these are looking better. So now that I've got the basic shapes of everything put down and some like simple shading, now it's time to start adding some details here and there. Like with the tail, I'm gonna try and experiment with feathers. So like copy the way that top neck looks and apply it to down here where I'm working now. And then on the back here, that's where a lot of work needs to be done. So I'm gonna try and add some more texture here, some more detail. This is honestly like my least favorite part of digital painting. I really enjoy that big sketchy first couple of processes when you like really see something starting to come together. And then there's that middle section <laughs> where it feels like you're putting in a lot of work but nothing's happening. That's kind of where this detail-y bit section is in that process and I've just never really enjoyed it. Some people say it's like calming, which that's awesome. But for me, I don't know. I feel like I need to go, go, go. And I like beginning new sketches and seeing something come to life, but I don't like <laughs> sitting there and forcing it into life. I don't know. Maybe that's just the way my weird brain works, but I'm liking the way this is looking actually. Like it's still not super detailed. Like I know a lot of people are like, mm, but I don't know, taking it in a direction that I don't usually go and it's kind of interesting, you know, fun. I really want to make that one white feather kind of emphasize since that's part of Dragon the Dove. Okay, I need to make one final comparison. This drawing looks a lot like a Therizinosaur. If you know what those are, dinosaur buffs, do you get me? I, like obviously there's some dragon bits in there, but like those little like birdie feet and the feathers. I mean, come on, it's like a 
weirdly looking therizinosaur. <laughs> All right, like let's look back at the original reference photo here. I'm actually noticing that Dragon the Dove is different from our Dragon the Dragon. <laughs> he has a lot more like white near his belly. So I wonder if I can add some of that. Maybe just like where it might be poking through. Like down here, just try to lighten it up a bit. <laughs> just keep looking back at the photo. I also kind of want to turn his head down a bit. I feel like that would help with the composition. Maybe there, and then I just need to blend out some of these little extra bits that came because I just grabbed it and turned it. So I just need to blend that in a bit. I actually really like that sort of like purple tone that's used to shade right there. I think I got that color from the actual picture and that looks really nice. Now I'm not too crazy about the turned head. I'm not sure. So now I feel like the neck needs to be curved more. Yeah, stop playing with these horns. <laughs> I'm just curving them up, maybe? I kinda like that. I don't know, they all just look like they're coming out of the head at weird angles and I'm not entirely sure how to... F needs to make some like logical sense in a 3D space. Yeah, I need to <laughs> add some more detail to these wings. They're very like fluffy looking and while I want them to be fluffy, I feel like I need to add more detail because I've never really finished a digital painting. I always get that, that like near ending point and I'm just like, okay, good enough. <laughs> but I really want to try and add some more detail to this since I kind of know what I need to do because I had that reference of Dragon the Dove like right there and I can see what the feathers look like and I can kind of get an idea of what I need to do to make this look more complete. So I just brightened up that eye to kind of make it look like there's some fire festering inside of the dragon and I kind of like the way that looks. But yeah, here's <laughs> here's Dragon the Dove as a dragon. Yes, I got that right. I had that like in my head and I was like, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it right. And I got it, okay. <laughs> I hope you like it, broccoli soup. And I hope Dragon the Dove does too. Here's a picture of his innards. <laughs> how he is on the inside. I gave it my best shot. I'm not a dragon artist and it's not photorealistic by any definition of the word, but I'm happy with it. It was a lot of fun. It was just so weird and out of my comfort zone that I like was able to like take a step back and just enjoy the process. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun. So thanks for suggesting it. It was like, um, interesting suggestion. And I quite enjoyed it. I think that was a good one. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. I definitely took liberties on both the dragon side and the dove side, but I kind of like the way they've merged together. I do want to thank you guys for watching, those of you who've made it to the end of the video, and I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles! Bye!